Hey, what's going on guys? Tyson De La Cruz here. Today we're actually talking about how scary and how exciting it actually is to be an entrepreneur and run your own business. You're listening to the Flip Your Life Podcast, focusing on the ins and outs of real estate investing, helping you live a lifestyle by design, not by default. Here is your host, Tyson De La Cruz. I'm going for a walk in a historic neighborhood here in Las Vegas. Beautiful, amazing trees. Hopefully I don't get hit by some cars. But let's talk about how scary it actually is to start your own business or to be an entrepreneur. Wherever you are starting at, whether you this is your side hustle at the moment, you have a nine to five and you have a side hustle that you're like, man, should I put more money into it? There's all these things that kind of come come up. Should I put more money into this business? Like, is it working? Or if you're in a position that, you know, your side hustle is now your hustle. Man, same thing. Like, oh man, should I put more money into this? Like, is this working? Is this going to have sustainability? All these self-doubt and self-stories kind of, self-sabotage things kind of come up, whether you're in the side hustle stage of your business, in the hustle stage of your business, or even when you're from the hustle to the business, like where I'm at, you know, it it was once a hustle, now it's a business. Whatever you guys are feeling right now, especially when it comes to costs, right? Like, oh, is, is this worth the money? Think of it this way, what changed my mindset a lot and, and that mindset is gonna be there however way you slice it, whatever level you're at. It's always this, this thought, right? Like, is this working? All these bullshit stories that aren't even you. And I'm not saying that they last for a long period of time because those stories last for like an incredibly small amount of time. Like that comes up like a millisecond. It's like, is this gonna work? Or, you know? And honestly, like you don't know if it's gonna work, but that's the juice of life like just experiencing to see if it is going to work or not. So whatever stage you're at, it doesn't matter. You're, you're always gonna have these, these small little things that come up. It doesn't matter what, what stage you're at in your business. There's always gonna be these small things and self-doubt and stories, right? Because we all come into relationship. And the way that I look at business is a relationship. We always come into these relationships with some type of baggage and it's just our human nature to help divert some of that baggage or not pay attention to that baggage because whatever you persistently think of, that's what's going to happen. If you don't let those thoughts really sit and marinate, it's all good. That's gonna be your deciding factor on projecting you onto the next level. I'm telling you you individuals who are just starting your business and, and you're kind of like on the fence or nervous about spending money, look at it this way. Just do it! The way that you spend money, don't look at it like you're spending money, but look at it as what type of a return are you getting immediately from that money? What type of time are you getting back immediately from spending that money? I'll give you guys an example. I had a landscaper come and, you know, landscape the house, my house. I think it was like $600, right? And he spent all day there. He he got there at eight o'clock and he re-landscaped the yard, he cut the trees, he did the sprinklers, like all of this good stuff. And he left at five o'clock. That's a whole day. So that's from nine o'clock to five o'clock. And honestly, my time is more valuable than $600. That being said, the time that he spent from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. working on the house for $600, like I got a solid return on my investment. I was able, I, I think that day, I wrote up a contract for a property. I was able to set up systems for my business. So I, I got more time back. So immediately look at it as an investment. Like what type of funds are you placing down in order to get an appropriate investment in return? And you know, again, that's for you guys that are just starting out and you know, kind of scared and and, and nervous to hop on the fence. And that's natural. I'm not saying that I'm sitting here like fucking Superman, knowing everything. Oh Lord, way to go. Because there's layers to this. There's layers to exploring entrepreneurship there's layers to business. And if you guys are absolutely ready and there's something pulling you forward, but you're, you're, you're scared around the fence, I'm telling you, you being scared is always gonna be there. That what ifs, those stories, you know, especially from your family, you're gonna get a lot of bullshit from your family. Your family's gonna give you a lot of pushback. Like, well, I hope it works. Motherfucker, it's gonna work because I'm gonna do it. Like, I know it's gonna work because I'm doing it. It doesn't help that you hear it at family gatherings or dinners. How's it going? It's going fucking phenomenal because I'm not working a nine to five and I'm doing shit that I love. 
you know, keep, keep that, keep those things in perspective because it's going to be difficult. Any level you're at, there's always gonna be doubt. There's always gonna be like these small milliseconds of like what ifs. The point of this story is if those stories and if those milliseconds of negative thoughts are going to be there, why not just step into them? Because they're gonna be there anyways, regardless on any level you're at. So I hope you guys received value from this message. If you guys enjoyed this message, just share it with one individual. Tag them, share it with them, share it on social media platforms. Just go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Oh, from the beautiful, amazing Las Vegas, Nevada. Be kind, rewind, peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Man, I, I freaking love this neighborhood.